Common Core State Standards, a presentation by Rachel Rapp, a pre-service teacher at the University of Wyoming, 2016. What are the Common Core State Standards? As defined by corestandards.org, the Common Core State Standards organization website, Common Core State Standards are a set of clear college and career ready standards for kindergarten through 12th grade in English language arts and literacy and mathematics. The Common Core State Standards are currently adopted by 42 states and the District of Columbia, according to Education Week. The Common Core State Standards were developed by the states and individual teachers by using recent research gathered from studies in order to provide teachers, parents, and students with a set of clear expectations to ensure that all students have the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in college, career, and life upon graduation from high school, regardless of where they live. Bloom's Taxonomy and the Common Core State Standards Bloom's Taxonomy is a framework used for reaching higher orders of thinking in the classroom, rather than merely remembering and understanding information. And the taxonomy was originally written in the 1950s by Benjamin Bloom, and was then revised again in the 1990s. The new revision of the taxonomy changed the nouns on the pyramid to verbs, and then switched the top two tiers of the pyramids in order to make the taxonomy, the taxonomy easier to understand, learn, and apply in the classroom. Bloom's taxonomy played a huge role in the creation of the Common Core State Standards, as the developers of the Common Core State Standards strove to figure out how to teach students to access the higher four levels of understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. This new version now addresses different types of thinking and shows education as an active learning process rather than a passive one. As Plutarch said, the mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be ignited, and both the New Bloom's Taxonomy and the Common Core State Standards strive to prove this statement true. Smarter Balanced Assessments Smarter Balanced is an assessment system that consists of a performance test and a computer adaptive test. First and foremost, Smarter Balanced contains a summative assessment that is given during the last few months of the school year. Smarter Balance assessments can also contain an interim or middle assessment, such as the commonly used MAP test, to better help students, teachers, and parents understand where their child is and how to increase their learning abilities. As the assessment is primarily summative, it does cover information that the students learned over the course of the entire year, and the skills that they acquired during their year under the Common Core State Standards. The Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers, or PARCC, also works with um, Common Core State Standards. And these PARCC tests are a kind of assessment that are high quality kindergarten through 12th grade assessments. They are computer balanced tests given to mathematics and English language arts and literacy. The idea be behind these assessments is to give teachers, parents, students, and the schools the information that they need to understand about how we as educators are preparing their students for futures in college and or careers after high school. They track the progress of students in school to determine if they're on a track to succeed in a post-secondary success curriculum or if some students may be in need of extra help. Let's look at some samples from the Smarter Balanced Assessment cur Curriculum. The first sample is a fourth grade mathematics problem. This problem simply asks a student to look at a summer reading list and convert a key that uses one book graphic equals two books read to another graphic that uses a different key to express the same information. In order to do this, the students must understand the laws of multiplication, and then they must apply the laws of multiplication to building a new graph. Now this does reach more than one level of Bloom's taxonomy, but it doesn't reach much higher than the first two levels, understanding and remembering. If we take a look at another sample, a seventh grade mathematics, we can see that moving up three grades shows a drastic change in the levels of Bloom taxonomy that are accessed by the student. In this problem, students are given information regarding average American water usage. At first, the rest is simply add percentages and subtract from 100% to answer a question about how water services are allocated in the United States. But after that, a series of in-depth questions prompts the student to use critical thinking to approach the mathematical problem and also explain how they got there for each of the different scenarios. In this problem, the students must not only understand the information, but they also must be able to apply the information to the issue and create reasons as to why they are correct, obviously allowing them to reach into the upper tiers of Bloom's new taxonomy. In conclusion, 
I thoroughly believe that the Common Core State Standards are a step in the right direction. Though not all of the Smarter Balance sample items showed the use of higher order thinking, remember the 4th grade mathematics problem really only dealt with the bottom two tiers of the pyramid, unlike the 7th grade mathematics problem that accessed the higher order thinking, it is a step towards success as it does make students think critically rather than just parroting answers that they learn during lectures. Also, the fact that the Common Core State Standards and the Smarter Balanced Assessments use essay questions in interactive format, format, such as click on the statement in the passage that best supports this idea, forces students to come up with an answer on their own, rather than being able to guess as they would be able to with a multiple choice question or simply, regurg or simply regurgitate information with a fill in the blank. Common Core State Standards promotes critical thinking, and by changing the way that our students think, we can change the way that they succeed.